welcome back to this channel and if it's your first time to come across with this channel please consider subscribing support this channel by subscribing by the way don't forget to press that notification bell i'll always be very grateful because it will be the only way you'll be updated when i upload a new videos for the returning subscribers thank you so much for coming back to this channel for the new subscribers i appreciate thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and thank you so much for supporting this channel remember we are looking at the road to 2000 subscribers well right in today's video there is one of the subscribers just asked a question what is the termination and notice period according to the oman Lebanon? well what i need to let you know first is that all these gulf countries have what you call the labor laws and these labor laws will govern the employers will govern the expatriates the non expatriates will govern all the employers in those countries. When you talk about the Gulf countries, you definitely know what I'm talking about. We are talking about the UAE, we are talking about Qatar, we are talking about Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Oman, all these Gulf countries that we're talking about. But in today's video specifically, one of the subscribers was asking what is the termination and the notice period uh, in Oman. And remember what we have to talk about uh, when you look at the terminations uh, terminations different countries or different countries have different uh, contracts or have different agreements and that agreement and uh, when you look at the termination itself it will be just governed by the, the agreement the contract you have signed with that employer what rules are you gov what rules govern you with that employer in that contract that is first what you need to know. But still, when we are talking about the termination, something that you don't have to get out of your eyes is the notice period, either on the side of your employer or on the side of you the, yourself, either by terminating yourself or being terminated by the employer. But most of the time, it is normally the employer that gets to terminate the employee. It may be on given grounds why he may try to terminate you off why it may be either unfair dismissal it may be maybe liquidity of the company the company is closing down it may terminate your contract it may be over misconduct by the employer the company may terminate your contract it may be for such kind of reason that you are unfit to work for that company especially after serving what we call the probation period and remember Probation periods in these different country, uh, Gulf countries, they are all different. Each Gulf country has its own probation period because each Gulf country has its own labor law. That's what you need to understand. But remember, when we are talking about these labor laws in these Gulf countries, it is just the initiative of you, the person, the employee, to understand this, some of these labor laws, some of these articles in this labor law. Because when the law gets you, it will not know or it will not understand that you don't know the law, you know. When you are just caught up in that law, there is no excuse because you, it is you, it's supposed to be your initiative. It's supposed to be your role or your obligation to know some of these articles of the law such that in case of any emergency or anything comes in, you can partially try to defend yourself. You can try to put yourself in the position that you are safe in one or the other. So the termination itself, it is just governed by, by which kind of mutual contract that you sign with that employer and which kind of rules or agreement gets to drive that contract at its side. On what grounds may the employer get to terminate you or may the, your employer get to terminate you or in, on one or the other. And we talk, we, we say that different Gulf countries have their own uh, different termination or their different agreement or contracts agreement that they get to sign with their, with their employer. That even still itself, it will also get to look back what kind of employment or what kind of a job you are doing is I think where the contract will be determined in one or the other. So, but try to understand that the termination in the Oman, termination in Oman, it's the employer can terminate you. But before that employer gets to terminate you, he needs to give what we call sufficient 
So it means the formal sufficient writing why that employer is terminating you will be the ground that will be uh, uh, looked on or during what you call the termination. In case you've been, there's, an, uh, there's, there's a misunderstanding in any way or But the notice period or the termination, your employer should give you what you call a written formal reasons why he's terminating you. And he should give you a notice period of 30 days according to the law in Oman. Still at the same time, remember, if he's terminating you or if your employer is terminating you in any one or other and he has pending dues that is not being paid to you, they are supposed to be paid all in full. Let it be the annual leave days that you were not taken and you are not paid for. Let it be the overtime that is not paid. He has to pay you all your full salary before he can terminate you and take you off. So what I have to let you know that the employer before he terminates you according to the Oman law, he has to write to you on a formal with a sufficient reason why he's terminating you. And the notice period, the notice period should be 30 days. It should, your employer should give you 30 days of notice period for the termination. I think you've taken me right and I think you've got that is exactly the person who asked you that question. That is how it is done. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Don't remember, it's Mix from the Mix Creation. See you again in the next video.